Hi everyone, welcome back to Get A Brew. So today I'm in Lurgan in County Armagh at Spade Town Brewery. Come on in and check it out. Okay, so one of the first things you'll pick up whenever you walk into Spade Town Brewery is the incredible branding that they have. Um, so this beautiful mural uh, carried out by local artists and then just the incredible design and branding, uh, the black and white theme on the, the wall. So we have been lucky to work with them in installing their brewing equipment. So we've got a Brewix 500 system here and you can see, um, again, we appreciate the support with the um, ingredients that we distribute for crisp. So Brewix 500 is a two vessel system. So you've got your kettle and mash tun in one and you've got your loiter and whirlpool in another. And it's all connected together with brewery hosing. So really super innovative and ultra premium brewing equipment backed up with incredible support from the Brewix guys in Slovenia. So European manufactured. Um, check out the videos we've done visiting their facility. It's incredible the work that they put into this. So, as we walk into the brewery, we'll see a um, nice gangway here, allowing easy access, uh, keeping it safe for managing uh, with the fermenter. So we installed uh, three cylindrical conical tanks, and initially without the uh, second skin and insulation, and then we added the insulation just to be able to make it a little bit more efficient. So we can see we have walkway down here. All the tanks are just over 2,000 litres, and then we come to nice control panel here for monitoring fermentation and then over this way is packaging so I'm going to take you around the other side and let you have a look at this it's quite a really sort of advanced depalletizer for a small setup so it makes them super slick at being able to pump out volume really really easily here so you can see at the back here actually I've got a nice little brew monk and home brew setup with a copper war chiller and the Fernzilla for doing some experimental batches which is great to see and um, people using our homebrew equipment as well. So um, English depalletizer um, allows pallet gets um, lifted into place here and comes along the conveyor. This is the first time I've seen one of these. It's a um, Z twist rinse. So depal vibrates the cans, get them to move on to the conveyor. Conveyor brings them down. They then come in here, get twisted and rinsed. The actual design of this prevents you having such a long floor space if it was to be laid flat. So it just makes a bit more of an efficient use of space. So comes through here to an Italian uh, labeling machine. So we can see, obviously twisting the cans here, um, little date being stamped onto the label. Label applied here, running through this nice, you can see there's nice sponge on that, again, this is something I haven't, I haven't witnessed before. It's usually a belt, but that's it's real nice material. And you can see, you know, labels well. Comes along the conveyor and then into the ABE uh, semen system. So it's a five head filler. So if we look in here, we can see five filling heads um, with the purge in there as well. And then obviously coming along, um, the idea with canning is obviously you want to cap and foam, so you'd be aiming to make sure that you get um, a nice fill level consistently as it comes along here. Caps obviously run down here and just um, flick out onto the top of the can and then into the seamer. Once it comes out of the seamer, it gets a rinse and a dry and then uh, goes into packaged goods. And obviously when palletized up, heads over here in the storage. This is like the potential to be a great event space once we get our licensing laws sorted out here in Northern Ireland. Uh, if you're an MLA watching this, you need to help make that change. <laughs> Probably the, the best way I can put it. So you can see they've got a nice bar set up here. So put the nice fonts in the background, nice draft taps. You can see some of the beers here. The branding that they've they've put on the wall behind them, you know, you're gonna hear about the history of that and in a discussion video that I've had with Marty, one of the owners and co-founders here, but they very quickly take you through the beer. We have a, a light lager, sessionable, crushable, appealing to um, the masses, something for locals to introduce local people to um, local beer um, that's manufactured here in Lurgan. Then we have the Poe Face Pills, 
um, really high quality pilsner. A lot of time and patience taken in the process of brewing this and a heritage Hannah malt used from Crisp, um, which is the original Bavarian uh, Pilsen malt. So a lot of thought went into this. And again, using traditional uh, hops like Saz and that to really you know, make a really beautiful Pilsner. Now, you can see format change in here to 440. We've just been told that market demand at the moment is saying that there's a preference for 440 over 330. So this is a fresh canning run of their IPA, West Coast IPA, um, designed to sort of be a gateway beer um, to the locals to show them what craft can really be. And then we have more exciting beers coming out to, um, to really just sort of develop and evolve and research and develop new techniques in relation to simple styles like red ales and stouts, new IPAs coming down the line low ABV and no alcohol beers coming down the line. So the guys are putting a lot of investment and research into what they're doing here. So get out and support your local breweries and check out in the comments below the link to Spade Town Brewery. And until next time, happy brewing.